What it is, good people, it's your boy, the wolf, Mr. Bad. How's it going? You guys look good out there. Good to see that you guys are uh, self-governing, giving your fellow fallen countrymen, um, you know, into their positions, uh, some, some respect, though some of them don't want to respect you and your freedoms, but that's okay because uh, this is business, and so conduct yourselves accordingly. All right, so once again, thank you guys for checking in on this channel, checking in on me. Everything is great. Everything's moving forward, very positive, and we've been having nothing but a very high amount of success. I mean, I'm talking about like 99%, okay? Maybe 95, somewhere in there, okay? But still yet, though, some things are still pending and whatever else, but we're moving forward. So once again, guys, remember, these are your freedoms and rights, okay? So you really just need to go back into the private and remove yourself as much as possible from the public, okay? Especially operating as a 14th Amendment U.S. citizen, citus of the city, city-state property owned, chattel. All right, so this particular video is about the app of steel. Now, why? A lot of people are like, yeah, we don't use that. You don't, we don't use that wolf. That's not ours. You told us not to you to get it authenticated. But some states out there are still playing with you guys giving them the apple steel. So let's take a look at that and let's look at maybe how we can use these things to our benefit. Ooh, did he say benefit? Oh yes, I meant it this time. See, a lot of the old school people, they don't want to use anything that's theirs. And that's fine. But when you can live in the private but beat them at their own game and force them to recognize your freedoms and rights the right way, now you're doing something right. So before we get going, guys, don't forget to hit that bell, like, and subscribe. Ladies, 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 my ladies out there, you know I love you guys. So continue to hit that subscribe because it looks like the numbers are finally going up again for you guys, and that's awesome. Should be almost 50-50 with the guys. Especially. Why, the, why are the guys out there wanting this information and you ladies don't? Huh? Subscribe. Let me know, okay? Because there's more ladies out there than there are men, but the men are on it. So don't be sitting back like, oh, it's a man's world and whatever else. As a man who was raised by ladies, by women, let me tell you, okay, I'm a bit ad big advocate for you guys, but you guys got to, you know, get out there and get up, get out and get something if you want it. All right. So get this information and support the channel. Appreciate you. Mwah. All right. Let's go. So as I just do a general search for Apostille, which I don't know why some of you guys don't, but I have to bring it to you guys, spoon feed some of you. Um... Okay. An app of steel is, is in simply the name of a specialized certificate issued by the Secretary of State. The app of steel is attached to your original document to verify it's legitimate and authentic so that it will be accepted in one of the other countries who are members of the Hague app of steel convention. There you go. Like, and that's from the international app of steel .com, Okay. Uh, let's see here. Secretary of State. Now, this is Washington. Okay. What is an apostille? An apostille is a form of authentication. So, it's a form. It's not the. It's a form of the authentication. It's, it's a type. Okay. Issued to a document for use in countries that participate in the Hague Convention of 1961. A list of countries that accept apostille is provided by the United States Department of Travel. You can go on there. It's what I've been telling you guys. Bam. Your boy's right. You know, it's kind of my thing. So, originally the apostille is just a French word for the word certificate. Okay, you're certifying. Somebody's certifying that this action did happen and that it's in the proper jurisdiction. All right. So, now, I'm not saying all states will do this, though they should. Matter of fact, I really want to say they should, but just for educational purposes, they may or may not. So it did, it was a surprise to me when one of my viewers who bought my uh, pack of files and had the one in there for the uh, creating your own birth certificate. Okay. Or actually, in mine, it's called a record of live birth or a biblical record, Bible page, certificate of private natural birth, something like that. And they took it, and they got it apostilled. Now, at first, I was like, why would you do that? But 
then it kind of dawned on me. And I'm not saying everybody's going to have the same results by any means. But this particular person, natural person, used their given name, my form, and then got it apostilled. There's a lot going on in that little section there. So first of all, they changed their... They, they abandoned basically using their legal name. Created You use my created doc. I mean, you can also create your own. Just make sure you put in all the goodies in there, all the information. Jurisdictions, don't use a zip, blah, 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 blah. Make your, you know, use all the codes, whatever you want. And then got it apostille, which means it is now looked at as being a replacement or a superior master document certificate of their current private person that can be used anywhere in their federal Hague system. <laughs> this is so people are always wondering like how I come up with some of the stuff. Sometimes it's y'all, y'all are bringing me stuff. And I don't know if they meant to do that on purpose or if it was by accident. They were like, yeah, Wolf, uh, I, I took your form and did like you said, I got, got Apple Steel. And I'm like, you got your birth certificate, Apple Steel? It's already in the, it's already Apple Steel. It's already in the right jurisdiction. You don't, you don't need to do that for the birth certificate. You, you know, it, <clears throat> you want to get it authenticated. And they're like, no, they're like, I send, I send in the form you gave me, and you know, they they put the on it. Now, and then it, so so in breaking that down, you have to remember that many people do have private home births. They do have private agencies helping to deliver. These are not state-owned. Some of them are not even state-controlled or regulated. And it's your claim to your child's birth, your birth, whatever else. And unless they want to take you to court to prove that this information is fraudulent, which is why I don't do anything fraudulent, don't put fraudulent misinformation on there. It has to be your fact, your perception, your reality, your information. But yeah. So it can be recognized. So that information can be recognized in their federal, state, federal, federal, state jurisdiction, Hague, as being legit. Now, for some people out there, um, they'll understand the use and the power of that information. Uh, but another thing that's happened is because of our own videos and hi, Department of State. I know you guys watch my videos. Love you guys too. Um, peace, love, treaty, and all that good stuff. But um, so they at the department have made some changes. Before you could just send in your um, your own created or my version of the birthing document, and uh, they would just accept it. Now they want, if you're going to do that, they want that plus a whole bunch of other stuff. And now what they're leaning on doing or have been doing in some instances is they won't accept it unless... You contact the, which is depriving you of your rights, but we'll leave that alone for now for those people who want to, you know, file lawsuits or do whatever else that's on you guys. Um, but it's the fact that you have to contact the vital statistics for your state, get a letter of them stating that they don't have your information on file, take that letter and then your created notarized one and then send it in and use that so to a strong degree we can look at that and say well if i create my own and i get it apostilled i would get it notarized and then maybe apostilled if i was going to do it my way and then send it in how can they really resist that or refuse it so those are the two different methods when it comes to that so well, let's take a look. Let's go on, shall we? Okay. So, what is a birth certificate? Now, remember, if you guys have been watching my old videos, you guys should know the difference between a certificate of live birth, Bible record, record of live birth, and then the difference between a birth certificate. So, let's just see what it says because people sometimes just don't want to believe me. So, before we get there, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys are looking awesome, fantastic, great, my fellow wolves out there. And thank you for those people who have joined the Wolf Pack. Put a couple extra good videos in there for you recently. I think you guys will find those interesting. All right. So uh, anyway, let's get back. All right. 
So, according to the American Bar, which if you guys didn't know that, the Bar, B-A-R, stands for the British Accredited Registry. So, why is it the American franchise, essentially, of the Bar? So, it's the American version, like if you took a McDonald's and dropped it off in Egypt, version that's, even though it's in Egypt, it's still owned and can... So, Yeah, so anyway, American, but the franchise of the British Accredited Registry, this is what they have to say, .org. A birth certificate is a document issued by a government. Okay, you can make your own. You don't have to have it issued by a government. Or you can get a private one or whatever. But anyway, by a government that records the birth of a child. You should look up the definition of child. For vital statistics, okay, meaning state use. Tax, taxes, there's where your taxes came in. Military, you registered, so now you got to do, uh, you got to register with them for military. And consensus purposes, because that's how the state gets money. Ding! All right, the birth certificate is among the first legal, okay, not lawful, legal, documents an individual, which usually means a corporation, might acquire. They are so common that we might even overlook their significance. This is what the American Bar says about the birth certificate. What is a birth certificate with pictures? Because you can put your own pictures. We you create your own master document, have you guys created your own master document of, your, of who you are? And got it maybe notarized under Jurat? And then send it off to be apostille, maybe even, so that they recognize you in your private capacity. Boop. All right, so um, that's basically about it. And then other, there's other run-on information. So that's it, guys. Um, so that is the power of the birth data, the birth document, the birth certificate, the apostille, um, creating your own, going deeper into the private. That's about it, guys. Thank you for your uh, 12 minutes of your time. That's what she said. And so, <laughs> so um, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber. This is your first time. Don't forget to hit that bell like subscribe. Check out all the other videos. Check out blacksite32.com for additional files and information. I will be uploading new stuff soon. I know I've been saying that for a while. I've only been able to put up one or new two pieces. There's going to be new files. There's going to be new packages. There's going to be new uh, stuffs coming in there. We have not evolved into our final form as of yet. So let us begin then, number one. All right. So, uh, yeah, but uh, subscribe. Check out uh, the Bad Wolf Media channel also on YouTube. I'm also on Patreon under James C. Lovett. Uh, just getting that started, so please be patient. And we got some more goodies that we're going to roll out. That is it. Take care of yourselves. Talk to you later. Bye bye.